damn, I look like. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to a what I eat in a day. Don't mind me, girl. I know, I know. I just woke up. I'm keeping it real. This is my natural hair in case you were wondering. No extensions and uh, no freaking makeup. So I'm gonna take you guys through, share with you typically, typically what I eat in a day. Not every day, because every day is different, right? There's 365 days in a year. Starting with my black coffee. This I drink every day. I'm shaking because I haven't eaten yet. And uh, right now I'm on a caffeine high and it feels great. Let's go. Come on over, bae. Show your face, show your handsome face. Please and thank you. Oh dang, okay. Look at the stallion I get to wake up next to. So once I feel like I've overdone it with the caffeine in the morning, that's when I'm ready to eat. So it's about 8 a.m. She's gotta hit the bathroom first though, don't let her fool you. <laughs> So we're gonna start off with some breakfast. Bay hates breakfast. Me on the other hand, I can't live without it. My favorite breakfast right now is protein oatmeal pancakes. Because your girl, she's still working out a little bit. I'm sore as right now. So I need to get those gains going. I need protein in my system, okay? So we gotta go do that. We gotta get some protein oatmeal pancakes in this tub. So I have this recipe that I swear by, and it's freaking delicious. Okay, sometimes healthy protein pancakes are nasty, like to the point where it makes me gag, almost throw up. But this recipe is bomb, not gonna lie. Not because I came up with it, it's just mad bomb. So first things first, I got some oat flour. Don't buy it, girl, make it. Okay, you gotta save a buck or two. They charge you mad for it already pre-blended up. I just blend up regular oats and then make oat flour. I love to add in my InnoSuff's Buttery Pancakes Protein. 26 grams of protein in this, just one scoop. And it adds that flavor to make it taste like actual buttery pancakes. Because oatmeal pancakes by themselves don't taste good <laughs> at all. I gotta tighten this. I ain't wearing anything on tonight. Next, obviously oat milk. Oat and oat. Two eggs, add in that extra fluff. Uh, we got some ground cinnamon that I love to add in, give it extra flavors. And then I add in organic maple syrup into the batter. Okay, a little bit of sweetness, this is optional, but I like a little bit of that. Mm. You didn't yeah. eat more of my pancakes yet, did you? You saving me some, right? Do you want to eat it? Yeah, I'll force it. <laughs> Why, dude? You don't have to eat it. Doing it for the tube. Come on, man. Do it for the tube. More for me, then. Come on, now. Let's I'll take it. a bite. I'll bite it. Yeah? I'll take a bite. Like Squidward in that episode of SpongeBob trying the Krabby Patty. You're going to eat it and you're going to like it. I'll, you're going to like it. I'll say I like it. So, in case you guys uh, did Ooh. Right? This oh, is... look at this. Ready, watch. I'm gonna zoom in in editing. The steam is real, dude. Oh. I like to see how many pancakes I can pile up, like Jenga. You just <laughs> never know when it's gonna topple over, but we did good today. In case you guys noticed, I didn't like measure anything out. I just don't do that. No one has time for accurate that. measurements. Nah, I just wing it because that's what makes life interesting every single day. Just divvying it up a little bit, okay? Play by ear, see how it goes. Society was built on assumptions. Mm. This is the butter that I like to use. A little healthier, made with extra virgin olive oil. Is it extra virgin? It sure is. That's why I bought it. Is it first cold pressed dough? I personally don't think you even need to add maple syrup on top, but that's just me. Where's my knife at? You don't need a knife, these are super tender. <laughs> I need to get my butter out. Would you like me to just Come on, scoop girl, it out? Come bougie? Come on now. <laughs> scoop it with the same fork, it's just us. Here you go, man. <laughs> 
So, a um, little fun fact, I actually hate cooking, except for breakfast. I love, I love cooking breakfast. That's the only thing I like to cook. Weird, right? Bay is actually the one who really likes to make actual meals like dinner. I'm just the breakfast kind of girl. So now that I got my lean, complex carbs in my system, the main reason I like to eat that earlier in the day like that is because I plan to lift some weight. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put myself together a little bit, okay? This way y'all don't leave my page. So let me go ahead and get presentable and get a quick lift in once I digest. We've been doing a lot of our, actually all of our workouts lately from home. My mom is super high risk and she's going through chemo right now. So I ain't about to take risk like that. So we are gonna lift some weight and uh, get on with the day. So we'll catch you soon. Now we ready. Now, it's now we're ready. Listen, there is no shame in that game. Putting on your best fit, putting light makeup on, don't get it twisted, girl. If it helps your confidence, you do the damn thing. That's what I like to do. Helps me work out better. Kidding me? Are you joking right now? If you guys haven't already heard, the new yellow vital, along with the other vital colors, are coming out this Thursday, February 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Animal TBD, baby. TBD. And now I'm going to have my protein shake. Every single time I work out, I have a protein shake right after. This is my favorite when I'm just drinking it by itself and not mixing it into anything. This is from InnoSups. This is their fruity cereal donut. It tastes like Fruity Pebbles milk. So, yes please. Guys, I am sponsored by InnoSups, but this is not a freaking ad. This is legit what I eat in a day. Dang it. Guys, in all honesty, that protein shake will hold me over for quite some time. <clears throat> but if I happen to be super hungry, I love these way better chips. Sweet chili freaking bomb, multi-grain chips. And they taste like Doritos in a little bit of a way, like that cool ranch flavor, freaking bomb. I also pick on like nuts and stuff, healthy fats, peanuts, almonds, sunflower seeds really help to hold me over with the natural fat, keep me nice and satisfied. Another snack I love is all natural peanut butter with banana. This one will hold me over real nice too. Great pre-workout snack. Bananas help to kind of stop the cramping. Obviously fruits, I like to pick on fruit throughout the day, oranges, pears, grapes, you name it. I also really love multi-green chips like this with flax seeds. These are freaking delicious. I spread a little bit of healthy cream cheese on top, a little bit. Absolutely delish, garden vegetables, bomb diggity. Boba bars, bomb for a really nice low key snack in between, especially on the go, really good. Truth be told guys, I actually do not count calories and if you've been watching me for a while, I never got into counting calories, it's just not, my lifestyle and what I want, um, it definitely serves a purpose. Don't get it twisted. But for me and my goals, I love intuitive eating. I just go based off the day, the week, the month, the, you know what I mean? Like the season, to be honest, I genuinely feel like I eat more calories in the winter time because my body's freaking cold all the time and I'm burning the calories. So I need some more. I just go with how I'm feeling, what my body needs for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done and I will catch you at lunchtime. And we're back. So uh, I need some grub up in my tub right now. Super, super easy meal. It is just Southwest chicken egg rolls. Frig yeah. With brown rice cilantro lime. Did I say that right? All right, it sounds more complicated than it really is, but I'm gonna go ahead and just forward over to Bay, who's the actual cook in this household. So this afternoon, we are featuring a delectable delight. We're having Southwest chicken egg rolls tossed with a cilantro lime rice and a chipotle mayo aioli. Basically, I'm taking three ingredients and mashing them together and crossing my fingers. Yes! Do this! The 
These are the wraps that make the most delicious freaking healthy egg rolls on earth. They're Vietnamese brown rice spring roll wrappers. All you do is take one out. Look how thin they are, paper thin. All you do is run it under warm water, wrap your shiz up, and then fry it. Easy. I know, I know what you're gonna say. They look like total dog shit. But you know what? They taste mad freaking good. Oh my freaking God. They smell so amazing. So we fried them up in extra virgin olive oil. So we got a lot of natural fats, complex carbs, little veggie, high protein with that chicken. Gainesville if I ever did see it. And girl, I'm a dipper. I don't know about you. I need to dip my shite. And this, this chipotle lime mayo, oh, with avocado oil, is perfect as a nice dipper roux for your egg rolls, just saying. In a perfect world, I would have a really nice giant salad alongside of this, you know, get those veggies in. But if I'm being perfectly honest, some days, like today, I'm just not feeling it. I don't feel like eating a freaking salad. I barely want my veggies today. Some days are like that and you just gotta roll with it. Whatever, man. You're lucky I have peppers in there right now. You ready, babe? You wanna go first? No, you go first, you pick. Um, okay, we got it. Cheers, B. Cheers, love. It is time for some din dins. Ooh, so uh, we like to eat dinner a little bit early. I'm not the kind of person that likes to eat late at night. So we like to eat nice and early. This kind of meal, we tend to like lower our carb intake a little bit, already burned off our calories. And this is pretty much, we're gonna chill for the rest of the night. So I don't go ham on dinner, it's super light. Um, so tonight we are making grilled salmon with pickled onions and cucumbers. Delectable. All right guys, so it is about 4.30 in the afternoon towards evening and in a couple hours I will be in bed sleeping. So this is why we eat early. I'm an old lady. Early to bed, early to rise makes you old. <laughs> so we got grilled salmon with the pickled onions and cucumbers. And on the side we put beets with some pink Himalayan salt. Very light, very colorful plate. What, what are you laughing at? Beats by Bay. That, that was clever, I'll give you that much. Yes, I will. Mmm, I freaking love beets. But aren't pickled cucumbers just pickles? Like, to what extent? Actually, yeah. Do pickled cucumbers become legitimate pickles? Cause right now these are like half-assed pickles. Yeah, they're not real pickles yet. We only you gotta keep them in for months. You gotta pickle, <laughs> you gotta pickle that for months, okay? <laughs> you gotta pickle that sheet. This is lightly pickled. Honestly, really, it was just soaked in vinegar. It's not even like a full pickle. We didn't even add sugar or anything. <laughs> no, I sucked it up like a spaghetti noodle. <laughs> All right guys, so that pretty much concludes a full what I eat in a day, right? That's at least what I ate today. For the rest of the night, if I get hungry, I'll pretty much just snack on all the snacks that I shared with you before. And right before bed, while I'm watching my TV and my movies and my Netflix, is when I will have Bay make me his famous popcorn. It's basically just popcorn popped in extra virgin olive oil with some pink Himalayan salt, and it's freaking delicious and nice way to, to go about it, make it taste like movie theater popcorn without the, you know, horrific side effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Stay tuned, many more meal videos to come. You best believe it. 
So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness because together we got this. I really hope there's nothing in my teeth right now. My goodness. I love you all so much and I will catch you in my next video.